In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created a man and a woman named Adam and Eve. God placed Adam and Eve in the garden to work it and to take care of everything in it. Then God said to Adam and Eve, You can eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will surely die. Our God is a God of order and design, not confusion. However, there is a lot of confusion in our world today. This confusion doesn't come from the Lord. His command to Adam and Eve was very clear, and so were the consequences if they disobeyed. If confusion doesn't come from the Lord, where does it come from? One day, Satan, disguised as a crafty serpent, came to make Adam and Eve doubt if God's words were true. He said to Eve, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? Well, we, we may eat from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And you must not touch it or you will die. Ha! You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Now Eve had to decide if she should listen to the serpent or trust that God's word is always true. Eve saw that the fruit was beautiful and looked delicious, and she wondered at the wisdom the serpent was talking about. And then she ate the fruit. She also gave some to her husband Adam, who was with her, and he ate it. Suddenly, they both understood the difference between good and evil. They both knew what they did was wrong, and they were afraid and ashamed. Then God came into the garden, like he did every evening. Adam, Eve, where are you? We, we heard you coming, and we were afraid because we were naked. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree I commanded you not to eat from? The, the woman you put here with me, she, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and, and I ate it. What is this you have done, Eve? It was the serpent. The serpent deceived me, and, and I ate it. Then God explained that their disobedience was sin, and their relationship with him was now broken. God explained that the death he spoke of was both physical death, our bodies literally die, and spiritual death. We can't go to heaven to be with him. This is why Jesus came to earth, to restore the broken relationship by dying on the cross for our sins and rising again so we can be made whole and go to heaven when we believe on him. Though there were consequences for their sin, and they could no longer stay in the garden, God still made a way for them to come to Him and have a relationship with Him. He sacrificed an animal for their sin and clothed them in the animal skin as a symbol of the sacrifice Jesus would make to cover everyone's sin. We can have that same relationship with God when we believe in Jesus. Truth comes from God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And God's truth stands firm forever. <laughs>